Hello and welcome back to Caves of Code. We're nine strata deep. Wow, that really uh, adds up quite quickly. Um, in uh, Bethesda Susa, we are, you know, we're okay for now. Um, could we be better? I don't know. We could always be better. I could be friends with crabs. If I was friends with crabs, things would be okay. If we was friends with fish, that'd be kind of nice because then we wouldn't have to deal with twinning ram lamprey. Why are those uh, explosive grenades not exploding so good? I went, oh God. Cloning uh, machine is not great. The nice thing about the twinning lamprey is like, we can just kind of press the button of like, go away. You know, like they, they, they do some nasty damage, don't get me wrong, but like, they don't have a lot of health, they don't have a, a very good AV, so we can just like, you know, go away. But, um, I keep forgetting we're okay with urchins. Urchins actually like us, which is fun. Doesn't mean their sleep gas likes us. So I actually, I need to go make some more explosive, uh, we're on good terms with spiders as well. I forgot about that. I need to make some more explosive grenades if we're going to deal with that lamprey, uh, which is going to be a very soon. Let's go ahead and force bubble. Mostly worried about the cloning. The cloneling, I should say. Oh, God. This side, uh... Um, snail mothers, got to deal with them pretty quickly because you don't want the floor getting filled to the brim with these ick slugs. I guess I could um, just use my uh, temporal fugue on twin, twi uh, twinling, twinning lamprey. Like that has a pretty good chance of also doing some damage to them. And, and I mean like killing them you need them both to simultaneously die so if there's a lot of a lot of me's shooting them um, let's go ahead and use our clairvoyance uh, we got another king crab which I don't really want to deal with but I guess I am coming over here cracked tube what do we got here crap cracked tubes there's definitely stuff there we could deal with but I don't really want to so let's go ahead and just head down this is, uh, kind of looks like our potential, um, cybernetics floor. Might be wrong. These new Gersh enemy are really, uh, they, they feel menacing, you know, like they feel really kind of creepy, which I know the Gersh, that's, that's always been the intention is for Gersh to feel kind of like creepy. They're very much the the horror enemies of uh, of Cud. Wow, we've had a lot of clonelings, huh? Like it feels like an unreasonable amount of clonelings. I am curious about what's up with uh, with the oh, Is that guy confused me, and I actually succeeded. They they succeeded in in. Uh, And confusing us. What is that? What is that? Oh, they're phased. They've got some mental mutations and some physical ones. I'm gonna have to wait for them to not be phased anymore. Doesn't really uh, hold a candle, honestly, to our giant laser machine gun. Love injector, shade oil injector. Good stuff. Good so stuff so far. Oh, God. gonna like start by poisoning this thing this guy oh no cooldown cool let's do it again that was the first time i've i've had our uh one of our like single weapon things pop off where we we are the cooldown doesn't happen basically like we don't have a cooldown which is nice 
If it happens, I know it's very luck based, but honestly, if it happens at all, it's kind of nice. Slender Elastine Gloves. Those are pretty good money, I think. Uh, if you didn't watch the last episode, I did cheese the alchemist. I feel bad about that. Uh, like I said, I don't mind throwing some trade goods in an active volcano. Like, it's not like I couldn't have bought all of that stuff. It's just that I didn't bring all of our, like, trade stuff with us. Although, I don't know. It was, like, multiple thousands of, you know drams of water um it, i might not have had enough who knows they're twinning lamprey um let's do temporal fugue come on kill them don't kill me they are really failing to kill that one, or I should say two twinning lampreys. I need to make some more grenades. This isn't working. Or just run away. There is that option. We've got another juicing cannibal. Oh no, frozen solid. This guy's really trying to make it work. Uh, I could definitely use a blaze injector, but like, come on. I was I was not really in active danger there. Oh, we got we got our first homogenized regeneration tank. A capacitor use. I mean, we can recharge it easy enough, but we actually have one. Nice. Um, what do we got going on over here? Oh, we got a. Troublemaker Kragment that needs to be dismensed. Um, what do we got? Bring me four bandages. I think I have four bandages. I definitely have four bandages. Um, uh, offer the bandages nearby. Yes, gives you a weird artifact. It's always great when you can, uh, like, just kind of deal with a Betel quest right away. What did, what did he give us? What did they give us? A rifle? Eigen rifle. A variety of Eigen rifle. Masterworks scoped Eigen rifle. I'm not gonna lie, that's really nice. That's actually, like, really nice as far as uh, rifles go. I'm gonna go ahead and disassemble all of those cracked tubes. Um, Masterwork scoped chrome revolver. We treat those as scrap and disassemble. Displacer bracelet. Uh, it's nice and all, but uh, I'm gonna disassemble that and all. Um, Masterwork scoped Eigen rifle. It's really nice. I guess I could put jacked on it and then it would genuinely be really good. I don't know. Let me know in the comments. I know I'm fishing a lot these days, but, uh, you know, it helps. Uh, but let me know, like, Masterwork Scoped Eigen Rifle over Chained Laser. You know, like, the Chained Laser is just so good. It does so much damage, but the Eigen Rifle, you know, Chained Laser is 9 pen 1d12, and it shoots, like, three times, right? Um... Masterwork scoped Eigen Rifle. The, the accuracy is going to be just chef's kiss. 11 pen, 1d12. I think that the Eigen Rifle has the chain laser beat. But here's the problem is that it is going to be a power soak. What would it cost? Yeah, okay. So putting jacked on it would mean a 7. And that's all we could put on it. That being said, scoped and masterwork are two things that I would almost always consider putting on basically any weapon. So, like, as far as range weapons go, like, that's a really good one. It's really good. Um, very, very tempting. It's tempting now. But, um, I think for now I'm just gonna leave it be. If I found an AI microcontroller in, like, the next, you know, microsecond, then I would consider it.
conjoined Gershling is a really fun idea. I wonder where that's going. It definitely feels like Gersh got a buff. Gershling, like the, the entire Gersh faction got a buff. Uh, and um, did that Void Spider just teleport away with a... Beth Beth oh, no, they're, they're not cool with me, actually. Okay, sorry. Sorry, vo Voider. I didn't mean to, you know, make you mad, but... We just killed that lad. Something just killed them pretty, pretty good. We got more humors. We got fix it spray foam, Hulk honey shade oil. We got all kinds of stuff. Um, yeah, I mean, insert the, uh, is it, was it, it's not Dawn of the Dead. I'm trying to remember. There's a vampire movie. I can't reference, unfortunately, because it would, it would probably get me demonetized. <laughs> at the very, at the very least, it would feel crass as all heck. Um, but I, I understand the irony in saying crass as all heck. Actually, is that ironic? I don't think it is ironic. I don't think anyone cares. But listen, it doesn't matter. Don't worry about it. We're just picking up all this good stuff. We're, we're blasting through um, Bethesda Sousa. We found some stem generator bits. Oop. Didn't realize a Kragmitch. I'm so used to everything being my friend that when I see a Kragmitch, I honestly expect them to be like friendly with me. What are you doing there, bud? Like, um, are you meaning to shoot that wall there? Wow, what's this artifact? Refractive greased steel boots greased you may walk freely over webs this item has a 10 percent chance to refract light based attacks i mean i have refractive negative five move speed i didn't realize grease was a modifier uh, what's everyone's problem with that one wall like what's going on with the wall what, what did the wall do are you guys like preemptively attacking it before it becomes, you know, sentient? Okay, um, let's just, let's just go. Let's go downstairs. Did I look at that sparking beetle? Is that the one I handed the stuff into? I am sated, mortal. Oh god, why does this happen so much? Oh my, I really need to do like clairvoyance like as soon as I enter a floor. Um, so here is our cybernetics floor. Love to see it. That means we're almost done. That means we're almost done. Lots of plasternoids. Honestly, I love seeing the plasternoids as well. Like, that makes me happy. Especially on a floor where there's, like, nothing else that I really care about. Like, I honestly don't even care about this luminous slime, but, you know. Level 24! We're really... We're leveling up in a hurry. We started at, like, level 21. Ow. Ow. It's like the first time I've been nailed with a boulder. Like, uh, the first time it actually, like, hit. I don't think you need a very high DV in order to avoid it completely. Uh, let's deal with this guy. 
It seems like um, Craig mentioned do not have a very good defense against poison. Oh my god, look at all this stuff. It occurs to me that um, <laughs> a sparking beetle asking for bandages in Bethesda Sousa is one of the best finds. Because, like, of course you're going to find it. You know, this place is basically a hospital. Skim soft tonics low tier. Interesting, not very helpful. What do we got? Implant skim, another skim sift soft tonics low tier? Fire suppression system. One day I'm gonna use the fire suppression system. I think that would be fun. Uh, motorized treads are a cool idea. Uh, I'm not gonna pick them up because they're 75 pounds. Um, let's have a quick look to see if there's anything else on the floor worth grabbing. I mean, there's definitely some stuff. Doing killing the Kragmensch would be worth good XP. But I kind of, I'm kind of getting burnt out a little bit. Bethesda Susa does that. So I'm just going to move on. So, hooray, it's the floor that I always confuses me. Uh, I never know what to do with this floor. I honestly never know how I'm supposed to fight the spider. It never really seems to work for me. So I'm just going to move on from this. I'm going to go ahead and use our nano nomadic. Oh, we're famished. We could use a meal. Let's do... Um, are we out of certain ingredients? It seems like we are. Let's do some Hulk honey. We'll do like five of those. Let's do some skulk. We'll do like five of those. Let's do some frozen luminous. We'll do like all of those and that should be good choose from a recipe that's the one and then we're gonna go ahead and oh let's have a look at some of these artifacts missile launcher i'm gonna treat that as scrap and disassemble it uh chain pistol treat that as scrap disassemble frozen witchwood bark yeah no um Where's our tools? Oh, it's not in tools, is it miscellaneous? No, melee weapons. Go ahead and uh, equip our nano pneumatic. This is always kind of a bummer because it, it's a lot of like messing around with our inventory to make this work. But like that, wow, what the heck? Face spider was on the other side of the wall. That seems like cheating. What are you doing there, bud? What are you doing there? That's not fair. You, you're hanging out in the one place I cannot reach without phasing. Ah, uh, whatever. Uh, okay, this place gives me some fear as well. I'm gonna go ahead and disassemble that recycling suit. Let's look at this lore real quick. Okay, just, uh, yeah, there's our juicing can a cannibal. Why did you go and shoot that? Now, now there is a plant. Um... This is the plant that can, like, destroy everything, isn't it? I'm just gonna leave this floor. And someone else is gonna have to deal with this. We're on good terms with the uh, Mechanimus, right? 
Yeah, okay, good. <laughs> uh, pick up a skull conjecture. All right, so Bethesda Sousa went pretty well, I'd say. I am certainly very happy with how that went. Let's go make friends with the second Pope. Oh, we have a hole. There's a hole in the bottom of Bethesda Sousa. Uh, I don't I think someone was mentioning that like some of these new Gersh holes like they are new and they're also very dangerous Loved by mechanists disliked by unshelled reptiles Dude Well, I mean we are very okay with unshelled reptiles We're like very okay with unshelled reptiles. So let's go ahead and do this only we only lose 50 with unshelled reptiles What do you have? You don't have anything, huh? Um, let's talk to the Beetle. Did... Did I bring the disc? Uh... Hold on a second. Did I do that thing again where I forgot to pick up the disc from Q from Q girl? God damn it. <laughs> uh, I'm going to have to come back here. Weird artifact. 29 pound... Oh, freeze ray. Oh, I love a freeze ray. Um, Love me a freeze ray. We're going to pick up that and the herbary. Kind of want to just jump into this for a second. Just kind of curious. Oh, we've got, a, we've got a dervish of the sightless way. Not a legendary one, just a normal one. I just kind of want to see if this goes, if this keeps going. Like, uh, like in, um... Golgotha. I want to, I want to know, I, I want to know if the Golgotha, if the Bethesda Sousa... ...hole keeps going down... ...in much the same way as it did with, um... Golgotha. Well, there's definitely staircases going down, but I don't know. I'm not really seeing any of the same, like, goop. I am seeing convalescence. Okay, what is that? There's a spiral borer over there. Gyre White of Sugruth. Shug Shugrith. Okay, so, ooh. We've got a whale. Shouldn't be a problem. So yeah, we and we have hole. Oh, we've got quartz baboons. I am a little bit curious about where this goes and <laughs> the game's giving me a uh, spiral borer just as a tease like, hey, you could totally just, you know, you could, uh, you could uh, just uh, find out, you know, but I'm not going to. Um, I. We got to go. Unfortunately, we got to go back. Let's go uh, recoil to grid gate. Got to talk to Q girl. I can't believe I did that. Such an amateur move, you know? Also informs me that you have a method for decoding the signal. Thank you. Thank you for that. Oh, God. 
Oh, that's right. I haven't gone through the grid gate. I haven't gone through grid gate. Am I on bad? I'm not on bad terms with the uh, way droids. This is such a weird thing to. Oh, God. And I'm using the nano pneumatic jackhammer right now. And I'm on bad terms with hermits. What a weird thing to slow me down. I never went. I never took the path through to grit gate. And so unless I want to recoil somewhere else. Whoa, whoops. Press the wrong button there. I guess we can gauge real quick to see if I made the right choice by like recoiling the grit gate and skipping this path completely it's actually not a terrible path it seems pretty okay yeah um let's travel to bethesda susa real quick you might have noticed that i did pick up um i, I took that recoil um spiral borer i'm gonna use it right now let's make this one that gives me more strength Let's use it like right here. It's in tools. Spiral bore activate. I mean, I know it's a, it's a little bit cheesy because like why, why do it now? Well, I mean, that's the point, right? I've already beaten five still beard glands, huh? I've already beaten Bethesda Sousa, so it's not like I'm short changing myself. Oh, look at that. <laughs> that's really funny actually oh man there's a like a weird walled off closet with some meds in it and i would not have found that if i hadn't spiral board that's really funny i'm a little bit worried about those uh plants yeah i mean they're really filling up this room okay go to the betel Insert ta disc. Uh, recoil again to grit gate. Activate. Transported. Thank you. Um, talk to Otho. Uh, you've succeeded in decoding the signal? Yes. Well done, apprentice. Present the disc. You're promoted to the rank of journey friend and given 6,000 experience. Must decode the signal to uh, bring the decoded signal to Barathrum immediately. Go ahead. Go ahead and do that. It gives me a chance. I should um, go and... Uh, I think Neek has some... I always forget which bears. And I know they're not bears. They're like porcupines. Uh, which of them have like stuff that I want. I think it's usually, I think it's Auth, no, not Otho. Otho's the only one. Asepa and Jacobo, I think, both have, like, tech. Sort of. Um, Asepa has bits. I don't really want bits. But what about... This, uh, Hortensa? Jacobo, probably. Fitted with a beam splitter. I already have that. Sturdy. I have that. Um, I have most of those. I'd really like to buy an AI microcontroller. Let's talk to Spare Fusile. Electromagnetically shielded. Magnetized boots. Okay. None of those. Is Otho back yet? He's usually pretty quick. I'll just go ahead and wait like 700 turns. Pass by a Barathrum clock with a Q girl with Q girl pendulum. It's like a special clock that Q girl invented. Um, all right. I will secure the spindle for Barathrum. All right. Good enough. Where are we at? Half an hour? Perfect. That's that's pretty good. 
let's um recoil to ezra we'll have to replace the cell to do so we'll check out some of our goods here uh see if six true has anything interesting he does or they do not um they might have it might be that they have some good artifacts i just have to like examine them cook from a recipe let's do when you ever you drink fresh water there's a 25 percent chance blah 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 and we'll go ingredients control f blah yeah we're doing this song and dance again uh drink control f blah okay oh i didn't mean to do that blah okay okay um I'm just seeing if I if I've already like discovered what it is. K K. Control F Y K K. That's fine. Have I figured out what it is yet? Nope. Sometimes this takes a long time. Control F Y K K. Come on. Carrying too much to move, right? Because I, yeah. All right. What? Where is all my weight right now? Oh, let's uh, disassemble this recycling suit. Do not need that anymore. No, we still we still need to drink more water. This is uh, I've my luck in this game. It's been good. But at the same time, like stuff for this, and whenever there's a 25% chance of anything, my my odds have been really against me. People have been noting in the comments like how bad my uh, Eater's Nectar tonic cooking with it has been like actually god awful. Okay, there we go. Psionic Mag Hammer, huh? Um. We got a linear cannon. Ooh. I do really like the linear cannon. Is that a heavy weapon as well? It is a heavy weapon. High accuracy as well. That's really good actually. I wouldn't mind having that, but I don't I don't know. I don't know, I don't know if it's worth it now. Cuz like I need to modify it with jacked and it's going to cost another AI microcontroller and I just don't have the I don't have it. I don't have it. Crystal hand bones, huh? Liquid cooled is cool. Um, no pun intended. Well, okay, let's go real quick. Uh, this episode should be over very soon. I just want to, yeah, let's go talk to Earl of Omen Park. The next episode, um, like we're gonna go ahead and you know say you know gather the thing. Are you truly Earl of Omen Park? How can I appease you? Convene the council then I am willing come back in three days. So what we're gonna do in the meantime is we're gonna go to You're lost. Oh, no oh, We're gonna go to this uh, named location the historic site And I don't think it's actually the jungle one. I think it's actually specifically the banana jungle one Which could be kind of spicy but We're gonna check it out. We're gonna see if it's uh, what it's got could be some really good stuff could be nothing Um We'll have a look and uh oh is that an actual can we actually uh harvest yeah we can harvest that yonder brush that is the first time i have ever seen that that is the first time i have ever seen a harvestable yonder cane i've been waiting for this day <laughs> i have been waiting for the day where i find a harvestable yonder cane i can't believe I finally saw it. Uh, we're going to visit this historic site. We're going to check it out. Um, and this will be the next episode. We've already got a spicy chain turret, so we'll be able to maybe gain some more cool weapons. I'm just going to go ahead and deal with this situation before it gets nasty. Uh, dueling stance. Oh, we must have... Oh, shoot. I'm not using my uh, stinger. Hold on. Hold on a second. 
Can we equip our tail now? Uh, it's such a problem. <laughs> um, can we do it from this screen, I wonder? Yeah, we can. Okay. So let's go back and uh, switch to dueling stance and swipe. Boop. And what did we, we disarmed them. Cool. Yep. There it is right there. Uh, those are worth picking up to sell, by the way. We got two solar cells as well. Those are worth take, picking up as well. Um, we have a legendary bark biter. I'm already starting to do this. Hated by the villagers of Shad and birds. Let me see. Villagers of Shad. We're at 100 with villagers of Shad. It kind of sucks. Kind of would like to get some rep. And we are pr on pretty good terms with bears. So we could sacrifice a little bit of bear rep. But we'll, we'll figure that out on the next episode. If you're enjoying the series, definitely hit the like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.